for sexual assault on a, a child and taken by force. Now, we all know what taken by force means. A lot of people will say that you can get a sexual charge just by touching a female on the butt. But this is not what this is about. This is about taken by force. So I bring to you and give to you the news that only Gangsta Cap is going to supply to you. Now, this picture of Khalil Hammonds was taken in 2014. With the birth date of August 26, 1995, hair black, eyes color brown, you can see that this man was sent upstate to Stateville Correctional Center, but he never spent a day in a correctional facility. This was really just to give him an ID, to give him a badge number, because soon he would be going to Big Muddy. Now, his parole date was May 31st, 2019. Let me say that again. His parole date was May 31st, 2019. Now, one thing we know is that the correctional facility is not going to give you a date of parole that you don't deserve. Now, many people on the internet kept saying he was on probation. But we heard out of his fake mother own mouth that he never was on probation. See, this is the lies that people don't want to understand and how you get caught in them and how you fall victim to something that's false. So I'm going to tell you on the gangster side, your boy was locked up in 2014. He had a parole date of 2019 and he went into a camp. Now we have a booking number. We have an SO number. And people, if you don't know what that is, that's your number that you get when you go to state jail. That's your state jail number. Before you get switched over between you go to another camp, whether it's boot camp or whether it's to another prison. Now this happened in the city of Peoria, but a lot of people ain't gonna understand it's a gangster cat. Break it down. Now, one of the biggest things that you need to understand when you look at this picture right here is all his known addresses. Now, a lot of these addresses is where he used to live. But if you pay attention, a couple of them, he was homeless. His first address, 1417 West Martin Street in Peoria, Illinois, he was living with his sister. The second address, zero, 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 homeless. That means he was living on the street. So like I said to you before, there's a lot of things about this man that you don't know, that I don't know, but I had to figure out because I kept it gangster. As you go down to the third address, 102 Marion, Peora, Illinois, that was Miss Betty. If you go down to the fourth address, 102 Mary Court Piora, that was his cousin Leslie. After that, he was homeless again. As you can see on his known addresses, your boy been homeless two times. Now, I don't know about you, but I know about me, and I ain't never been homeless. Now, some people can play this game. But some people can also go in many different directions. But why did he have to register at homeless? I'm going to tell you that in a minute. Now, I told you one of the big reasons why your boy had to report himself homeless is because at that time he was in a program. And with this program, when you get released from the program, you have to have an address. You have to have an address. Now that homeless address, they were both shelters. See, your boy been living in a shelter for a long time. Your boy always been creeping. Now, why is that important that he lived in a shelter? Because we had his baby mother on my channel. His baby mother interviewed with me on my channel. And she said out of her own mouth that he used to work in the shelter in Austin, live in the shelter in Austin, and he did what? He used to prey on people coming out the clubs at night. 
allegedly, this is what she says to us, that he would pray on people coming out the club at night. Now, when I ask her what type of people is he playing on, she tell gangster women that's drunk, women, women that's abbreviated, a little intoxicated, women that's walking around sleeping. That's what she tell me. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you, does it make sense? We know this man don't change his clothes. A man that ch don't change his clothes definitely don't change his ways. But we're going to get to the bottom of all this because I got paperwork. And the paperwork is going to prove to you how everything I said was totally correct. Hey.